Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, Citrine Dream Tarot. Uh, Aquarius, this is going to be a message for you. We are going to do a love reading for you. So this is just it's going to be a general love reading. Um, so it may or may not resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave what doesn't. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and get into it. Let's talk about love. Let's see what, what's going on. Hopefully something good, but you know. I don't write the story. I just deliver it. Okay, so Aquarius in love. And please don't let these cards fly all over the place because I hate chasing these cards. Like, why y'all can't just. Anyways, no, I'm not. <laughs> all right, Holy Spirit. Let me know what's going on with the overall energy for our Aquarius in love. This could be if you're single, dealing with someone, married. I know you are lying. And y'all did that on purpose. That thing went all across the room. Sorry, I'm trying to get it. See, that's what I get, like, my spirit guys don't be playing with me. <laughs> or they do be playing with me, because why you sent that all across the room? All right, <laughs> one more card for the overall energy for Aquarius. One more card for the overall energy for Aquarius. We have obstacles and challenges. All right, and let's get two more cards. This is taking forever. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> All right. We have awareness. All right. So let's get into this. And see. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius, I feel like, you know, you and your partner may, I feel like you're in surrender mode. And I feel like you're in surrender mode to your partner. Um, You guys may have been like hashing it out. You may have been like having disagreements a lot, not seeing eye to eye. And it's kind of made you cautious or not cautious, but reluctant to like move forward with them um you're you're really unsure about you know the the direction of where you would be and a lot of you are looking at okay this is us now where will we be in 10 plus years um and you're really trying to weigh out all your options i really uh but I really feel like you're wanting to surrender the fights, the arguments, and you're really wanting to look at this person in a more serious light. You're wanting to, um, <laughs> it's almost like somebody who's like been a player all their life and now they have to hang up their jersey. It's kind of like you're, you're like, all right, uh, I gotta, 
I gotta make these changes. It's hard for me to do, but I have to make these changes because this is the person that I wanna be with. This is the person that I can see myself with. You know, I truly want to be committed and in a way that I've never been committed to before with this person. But it's like, how? How? And I hear like a step at a time, day by day. You're just kind of taking it day by day. And you're like, all right, I got this. Like you're giving yourself pep talks. You're talking to people. Um, and, and you're really trying to move forward and persevere in this relationship. Because you guys have like had a lot of turmoil, a lot of like, you know, shakiness within the relationship, um, a lot of trust issues, but I feel like you're trying to merge together. You're, you're really trying your hardest to be the bigger person, to be the best person for your person and this relationship. Um, and it, it takes a lot of inner work. It takes a lot of inner work that you're doing, a lot of self-reflection, but you're wanting to to start a new chapter you're wanting to rewrite your story and rewrite the pages with this person it's like you're coming into this this like a emotional maturity and you're you're just like okay you know what why am i still out here in the streets why am i still cheating on my spouse why am i still you know dming everybody like i'm single and why am I still looking for someone else when the person who completes me is this person right here in front of me? So I feel like, you know, you're just kind of in that awareness where you're just wanting like a fresh start, like a fresh, clean start, clean slate. And I see that you may be coming to your person just sitting down and having this dialogue with them because you are wanting to move forward. You're wanting to progress in life with your person. And you're hoping that they want to do the same thing. So I do see like there is some fear within you because you don't want to, um, you don't want to experience rejection or be let down because you're choosing to open up your whole entire heart. You're choosing to open up your whole entire heart at this time. So it's like this person better not reject me. They better accept everything that I have. Let's get into the heart chakra for your person. Um, Holy Spirit, what is in the heart chakra for Aquarius person? How do they feel about Aquarius? What is? What are the words they wish they could articulate to Aquarius? So we got two cards. I know I was a distraction from your pain. It was my fault, but I blamed you. So this person is wanting to take accountability for whatever, you know, issues that you guys are having. Um, and I almost feel like with this one, I know I was a distraction from your pain. It could, it could, I feel, so maybe for, one percent of people um i feel like this could have been like a person that you got with after a bad breakup heartache and they kind of like distracted you from feeling any of that they distract distracted you from your past person um and they're fearful that you know not that you use it's not as though you were um, using them. However, you could have been dealing with this person out of that relationship. And now they're fearing that um, maybe there's a chance that, you know, you weren't really genuine and weren't really in it for them and that they could lose you at any time. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of like doubts going through their mind and you're trying to reassure them that this is where you want to be but i think trust has been broken or just 
there seems to be some type of block, some type of disconnect between the truth and reality with them. Um, and then they may bl blame themselves. They may blame themselves for how everything is going. Um, feeling like they're not enough. I, I kind of get like your person might feel like they weren't enough. They're not enough for you. Like they, I don't know. It's, it's really, it's really odd what they're feeling. But um, yeah, so let's get some advice for you in this situation. Holy Spirit, what is the advice that you would have for Aquarius in this situation? What is the advice that you would have for Aquarius, Holy Spirit? Show the world the real you and the answers you need are coming. Be transparent. It's time for you to be transparent. And if you're really, really wanting this to work, then you need to hold yourself accountable. You need to show your partner the love that you have for them, the love that you have inside of you to give and um, really communicate that with them. Uh, and, and let them know how you're feeling, where you're wanting to go with this uh, relationship. And then um, just have that dialogue. It's so important to have that dialogue um, because Aquarius, Sometimes people just need to hear one simple sentence, one simple word, one simple reassurance, and it like brings them back to a place of calm, a place of, of renewal. So have that dialogue, um, talk about it, be genuine in, in your decisions, in your actions, in your words, and um, yeah. That's what I've got for you, Aquarius. I do love you guys. Um, I never, I don't think I've ever said that I do personal readings um, and I may regret this, but I do, I am going to start doing personal readings. I really connect better on a personal level. I feel like the readings come out, you know, a lot better when I'm able to know who I'm reading for. Um, so my email should be in the bio if it's not in this description box then you'll have to go into my bio and read um it should be at the bottom of my email but you can email me there um and i'm doing like 15 dollars, and i do not take cash app it would have to be apple pay or paypal um yeah okay all right, <laughs> so that is, and I'm also, I also do mediumship. So just keep that in mind if you have anyone who's like trying to visit you, like a, a past um, loved one or maybe had dreams or something and, you know, you just want some type of understanding or to communicate with them, I would be your person. All right, love you guys. Take care. Bye.